Right, let's talk to Mr. Matthew Mr. Hancock. He's here from the Conservative Party. You're promising £12 billion cuts to the welfare bill. You've told people about £2 billion, and you won't tell voters the details of the rest because... Well, we've gone into some detail, as you say. Uh, we've set out that... Uh, but the £10 billion, why won't you tell benefits. voters the, the rest? Well, over the last five years, we've managed to make savings in sure, the sure, welfare sure. budget. Sure, sure, But the £10 billion that you haven't told, that you haven't explained, why won't you tell voters about that? Well, because what we've got, got to do is, as we have in the last five years, work through making those savings. Uh, and, uh, and, and I think we've got a track record okay. that shows that is we can deliver Is there anyone them. here who thinks, as a voter, they're entitled to hear the details? Yes. Yeah, well, <laughs> as, as I've said, we have, um, we have examples that we've set out, but we've also got a track record over the last but five years of making some savings. Yeah, but and we've set out... T tell us it then. Well, we have set out, we've set out in far yeah. more detail than any of the other parties okay. in terms of Let me you know, the I five you. billion... Let me see if I can help you. I've been onto the relevant government website to look at um, what you could cut or tax. There's the blind person's allowance. I'm not going to go through a list now because <laughs> no, because I, I'm not in. But I'm not okay, in a position okay, okay. to set out those the, the, budgets. The carer's allowance. Do you fancy that? I'm I'm not in a position to set out those budgets. But we've been clear. The guardian's allowance for those bringing up children you, whose parents have died. You can keep asking the same question. I'll keep giving the same answer. You know, I'm not I'm not in a position to set out those details. But what we have done are you, is sorry, set are you, out. Are you going all out to win this election? Excuse me. You guys, we, just, we, just, a minute, just a minute, just yes. a minute. You guys are up for a job interview and you don't want to answer the questions. Answer the questions that are being put yeah, to you. Yeah, I've set out. <laughs> we want answers. I've set out where we are going to make savings. For instance, in making sure that we uh, keep a cap on working age benefits. We've brought in the benefits cap. Um, and also areas where we are going to uh, protect, for instance, the pensioner entitlements. Um, but I'm not in a position to go through a list of all the individual, uh, in individual benefits. But what we've demonstrated is that we have a track record and an abil ability to make these savings. Child benefit, maybe it's that you've taken that away from some middle and high earners. Maybe you think it's time to take it away from people on low incomes or no incomes? Well, as I say, you know, we have set out some of the details of how we're going to do this, and we also have a track record that demonstrates that we can make these sorts of are savings. You, are you going all out to win this election? Yes, of course. Do you think oh, you deserve to if you're hiding things from the electorate? I don't think I'm hiding things. I've answered the question very clearly. No, come on. <laughs> Not even you believe you've answered the question clearly. Come on. I think you're giving this Tory a hard time. Clearly what will happen is if, if they get elected again, they'll get in and say, look at the books and go, my goodness, I didn't realise it was as bad as that. Well, they've been in government in the last five years. They really? know exactly how bad it is. That's exactly what they did last time, isn't it? Yeah, but they've been so in they've government. they've got no excuse not to give us the detail now. That's the point I'm making.